Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the beam deflected shape but qualitatively. So in this lecture we will be studying uh, the various types of the beam deflection curves uh, but we will only discuss the qualitatively, not the quantity, how uh, we measure the quantity. Only we will draw its shapes but qualitatively. So let's consider these are the various types of the beam with different supports like there's a simply supported beam, there's like fixed supported, a cantilever beam uh, and uh, this is like the roller support and the other one the fixed support and we have different types of load like there's a concentrated load and we have the here UDL, uniformly distributed load so we will be discuss and draw the elastic curve uh, for each type of the beam so let's consider the first one is a simply supported beam uh, with, the hand, with the roller and the hinge support at the two ends First of all, we should know that what type of supports here we have in the beam and which, which type of resistance they are providing. Like they are the roller and hinge support, so they are providing only the vertical resistance and there will be no deflection. I can say there will be no deflection in this beam, but there will be rotation because it will resist the vertical here and it will resist the vertical, so, but there will be no resistance to the rotation. So this beam will be deflected like in this case, right? in this case, in this way so I can see here that there will be no rotation there will be no resistance to the rotation so it will, it will rotate like the in the counterclockwise direction in the clockwise direction, sorry in the clockwise direction similarly this beam will rotate in the here and this portion of the beam will rotate in the counterclockwise direction counterclockwise direction so no rotation is being provided by the two supports of this beam. Similarly consider the other type of the beam here. You can see this is a cantilever beam. So due to this fixed support it provides the vertical resistance as well as the horizontal as well as the moment resistance. So there will be no rotation at this, uh, at this point of the beam fixed support due to the fixed support. So we can say here that it will be deflected like in this shape. There will be the maximum deflection of the beam. You can see the maximum deflection are due to the load acting at this point and there will be no rotation here. At this point there will be no rotation and, and there will be no deflection as well. Because of the support condition we have fixed support. So fixed support resists the three types of the uh, um, reactions like the moment, uh, horizontal, vertical and the moment. Now the third type of the beam is like the roll support at the one end and we have the fixed support at the other end and this is being loaded by the uniformly loaded uh, distributed so the deflected shape of this type of beam uh, will be like uh, there, is, there will be no deflection here in this end due to the vertical resistance so it will, it will deflect like in this way and there will be no rotation at this point due to the fixed support no rotation and here the beam will deflect again in the uh, clockwise clockwise direction due to uh, there will be uh, due to the property of this roller support it is not going to resist any moment so it will rotate in the clockwise while there in this case here in this support we have no def no rotation no rotation and no deflection because it will provide the resistance similarly you can draw the deflector shape of each, each type of beam of any type of beam like here the load is acting now at this point at the mid of at this portion where there is no load at this point so I can see here the A, B and C point so due to this the deflected sheet will be like this one this one and then the, it will go upward because there is no resistance at the support so it will be uh, follow the shape uh, in the upper direction because there is no support to resist this force only this only this will provide the resistance to the force and similarly there will be no rotation here but here only we have rotation in the clockwise direction so this is the respect to uh, a deflected shape of this beam consider this type of beam so due to which we have the deflected shape like in this direction due to support it will come to the zero and then there is no load so it will move follow this path you can see here so this is the respect to deflected shape of this beam Again here there will be rotation, again there will be rotation uh, due to no resistance uh, to movement because of the hinge and roller support and it will again follow this path because we have no support here and here to resist this deflected shape. Now consider this diagram, we have only roller and hinge support 
So due to the load, it will come, it will follow this path, but again it will follow, but it will come down to zero again. Due to the property, uh, due to the property of this hinge and roller support, the uh, deflected shape of the beam cannot go, uh, the shape cannot follow the shape like in this case, because here we have resistance uh, due to these supports, so it will come to zero again. So we have different types of uh, deflected shape according to the condition. So the deflected shape of beam depends on the load as well as on the support conditions. Now in this case, if you consider this is a fixed support, so there will be no rotation and it will be the maximum here. And here again, it will be zero nothing. So due to this fixed support, we have nothing. We have no moment and no deflection. While the maximum deflection can be shown at the mid of this beam. Similarly, consider this beam, uh, there will be no rotation, there will be, sorry, uh, there will be the maximum deflection here at this point, and here again comes down, it will again follow like this path, and zero here like this one, because the resistance will be provided this, to by these supports, and due to this it will move upward, and again due to the fixed support, there will be no rotation, so it will follow the upward movement and then equal to zero here due to the fixed support. So again here with the clockwise and with the anti-clockwise rotation at these two respective supports. Hope you guys understand that how we draw the beam deflected shape but qualitatively. There is no such value of the support reactions like 2 kN, 5 kN. This is just the qualitative way to describe the beam, uh, to show the beam deflected shape for various types of the beam. Hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.